Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 37. That is, what is reliability testing? Let me answer. Reliability testing in simple terms is nothing but testing the application functionality continuously for a period of time. Let's say you are testing the same application in the same test environment continuously for a period of time to see whether that particular application is working fine or not is nothing but reliability testing. Any software application that has passed this reliability testing can be said as a reliable software. Okay, if a particular software is working fine, even after testing it's continuously for a period of time, then we can say that that particular software is a reliable software, simple words, okay? So as part of reliability testing, we perform a lot of things, guys. okay? Not only we'll test the application functionality continuously for a period of time in the same environment, but we have a few checklists here, okay? So what is the checklist of the re reliability testing? So first thing is the same thing, that is continuously using the application for a good period of time, good amount of time to see whether the application is working fine or not, okay? That is the first check we do as part of the reliability testing. Second check here is, same result over different time periods. For example, in the morning 9.30 a.m., you tested the login functionality of the application and with the valid credentials, you are able to log in. Now at the evening 4 p.m., again, you gave the same valid credentials in the login functionality and you are checking whether you are able to log into the application or not, okay? If you are still able to log in, that means the application software is reliable, okay? In the morning with the same credentials, you got logged in. The evening also with the same credentials, you should get logged in, okay? Then the application software can be said to be reliable, okay? Then another checklist we can try out is, uh, let's say the same application, at the same time, different people are testing the application. The same application they are testing, but different people are testing the same application at the same time. While performing the same functionality, everyone should get the same result, okay? So a person, one person getting one result and another person getting another result for the same functionality doesn't make the software reliable, right? Everyone who is actually testing the same functionality at the same time and are getting the same result, then mean, that means application software is reliable. Then other, other checklist uh, item for uh, testing the reliability testing here is repeating the same test multiple times continuously to, to reach any particular failure point if possible, okay? For example, you are testing a login functionality, you give the uh, valid username and password and click on the login button and continuously you click on the login button, guys, okay? So to, repeatedly you are doing some action or test, okay, to see uh, if the application is failing in this case or not, okay? Such kind of repeated testing, okay? Frequent repeated testing you do, right? That is also one kind of checklist as, uh, that can be performed as part of reliability testing. And during, when you perform reliability testing, that is uh, when you are testing the application functionality continuously for a period of time, you should not get any failures, okay? If you are getting any failures means the application software is not reliable, okay? It has failed the reliability testing thing. And these are the, some high level checklist items for performing the reliability testing guys. Apart from this checklist, there are even more, okay? Big list of uh, checklist is available for performing the reliability testing, but these are the major ones. So hope guys, uh, you understood what exactly is reliability testing and what we'll be testing as part of reliability testing. So, uh, so that's all for this session guys. In the next session, I'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.